Hi guys, my name's Yvonne. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Well, I'm here again with another beginner friendly project for you. This one I am calling the ribbed pom pom scarf. Super easy to make. Um, if you are in our Facebook group, then you have seen this project already. I will post everything down below. If you do not do Facebook, but would like the pattern, that will be on my blog as well. And again, everything will be listed down below. So let me tell you what we're going to need for this project. So the materials that I am using for this project are Loops and Thread Charisma. It is chocolate cupcake. It's a number five bulky weight yarn. If you don't have a number five yarn and you want to use the number four, I would go ahead and maybe double up the strands. But really, you can use whatever you want with this project. OK, um, I'm going to be using a size L eight millimeter hook. Again, guys, I crochet tight and you want a pair of scissors. You want your yarn needle. If you are a beginner, you may want a stitch marker. A um, couple of those might come in handy. Measuring tape and a pom-pom maker. This is the one that I used for this um, scarf. Uh, here's a jumbo one. It just really depends on the kind of look that you want. You can use either one. If you don't have a pom-pom maker, that's fine. You can use a cardboard. You can use your hand. So go ahead, guys. Grab your materials and let's get hooking. All right. So we're going to start with the slip knot, And you want to leave a long tail for sewing. And we're going to chain 17. So yarn over, bring that through the loop that was on your hook. That's one. Yarn over, that's two, three, four, five. And you're going to keep going till you get 17 chains. All right, so I have my 17 chains. So now row one, we are going to do one half double crochet in the third chain from your hook. Yarn over. This one does not count as a stitch. So it's one, two. Insert your hook into that third chain right there. Yarn over. Bring up the loop like that. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over. Go through all three. Yarn over. Insert your hook into that next chain. Yarn over. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over. Go through all three. And we're going to do this all the way down. Now, if you are a beginner, this is where your stitch marker will come in handy. We're going to go ahead and we're going to mark that first half double crochet that we just made. And then we're going to go ahead and you're just going to continue your half double crochets all the way down. And I will meet you when I am done with mine. All right, so I'm done with my first row, and this is what your piece should look like. Now, let me just mention, right at this point, I, again, I have 15 double crochets, and this, for me, measures about six inches. Now, if you want yours wider, then you may want to do more chains. If you want it smaller, then you're going to do less chains. It's, this part really is just going by measurements, and you can make this however wide or however long you would like. So from this point on, rows two, and I had 140 rows, my piece measured 55 inches. Again, this is going to really depend on what you would like. If you want a shorter scarf, then you're going to have less rows. So you're just going to keep doing the same thing until you get to the measurement that you would like. So let me show you what I did for row two and then for the rest of the rows. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work and we're going to be working in the back loops only except for in the first and the last stitches. I like to work under both loops because I feel it gives me a nice clean edge on both sides and for the scarf it's it's perfect. Okay so we're going to yarn over go under both loops yarn over bring it through yarn over go through all three now working in the back loops only until we get to the last stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into that back loop, yarn over, bring it through, yarn over, go through all three. And there we go, just like this, all the way down in the back loops only. And 
and I will meet you when I am at my last stitch of row two. So now we're going to work that last stitch here. And again, it's going under both loops like that. And there you go. So again, you're going to repeat that till you get to the height that you would like. And I will come back. I'm going to do a little swatch. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how I got the end of my pom pom like this and how to sew that piece together. All right. So guys, go ahead, make your scarf as long as you want it. And I will meet you here when I am done with my little swatch. All right. So here's my little swatch. So now what we want to do is we want to close our bottom here and let me show you what I did. So basically all I did is I just went in and out of these stitches like this. All the way to the end. And I you just pull tight and then you come back around to the beginning like that and you're going to weave that in and out okay just like that then what you want to do you're going to cut that off then I had my little pom-pom I have one ready and all I did was attach it. It's easier if you use a hook. <laughs> so I just attached my pom-pom just like this. Okay, and this is, like I said, this is just a swatch, but this is all that I did for my pom-pom. And I attached it and I weave it in and out and then I bring it back up but see how cute that looks and that's all there is to it now let me bring in my original one so guys that's it if you have any questions go ahead and ask me put your questions down there below if you have not subscribed yet to my channel go ahead and do that and click the little notifications and you'll be notified the next time that i make a video again thank you guys so much for watching and until next time happy crocheting bye